Hey, what's up there, YouTube friends? It's Grumpy Gamer Dad here, and uh, we're just counting down to Star Wars Day on May 4th. Uh, this is actually, I guess, Star Wars Day Eve. We're here on May 3rd, and I have a special guest host with me, uh, my interactive Chewbacca. Yep. I thought we discussed the mask in the last video. You don't need it. Uh, I think you should take it off. No, really. Okay. Is that better? All right. So we actually have some new stuff. Um, new products that have come out. I don't know if it, the timing is to coincide with Star Wars Day or not. But uh, the first one here, these are new pins that have been coming out. Uh, I treated myself to one of these for my birthday. These are Funko Pop pins. They're about three inches tall. Uh, I, I've only been able to find them online. Of course, that's where you can only find most things. Uh, and at GameStop online. So uh, I, I got one of these. Uh, of course, I've got Han Solo here. And he, you know, he looks a lot like his pop would, I suppose. According to the, the what I saw on the internet, it's supposed to stand on its own, much like a fig pin. Just looking at the back here, it does say removable stand included. He's number three. And according to the back, there are only four, Darth Vader, Leia, Greedo, and Han Solo. Um, when I ordered them, they said uh, it's going to be random what I get. I can't select like Darth Vader or I can't select Greedo. And uh, I think there are actually a couple chases as well. All right, here's a closer look at that Star Wars pop Han Solo pin. Um, I'm going to take it out of the box because uh, I'm hoping with the stand it will uh, stand up better than it does in the box. Now these are only a few weeks old, so um, I don't even know. I've never actually opened one up, but I wanted to see it. Typically I would keep it in the box. So as you can see, it looks a lot like a Funko Pop. It stands about the same height, roughly about three inches tall. Um, and then you've got this cool stand, that which they say is removable. I guess if I, oh yeah. If I pinch that open, uh, then you've got three clasps here that you could uh, wear that, I guess, on a lanyard or something. <laughs> I don't know why. And then I guess you just put it back in and you can display it on a shelf. Now, you like Han, right? Han's your buddy? I know. Kylo Ren. He sucks. Do you think he redeemed himself, though? Spoilers. You still want to blast him, huh? Yeah. I don't blame you. You're probably not going to be a big fan of this next thing we have. Uh, this is a Lego set. It just came out a few weeks ago. Yeah. It's the, the new Lego helmet series, and this one features Boba Fett. How do you feel about Boba Fett? Yeah, I, I thought so. I think it's best we put Chewie to sleep during this build. Um, just so he doesn't get angry and destroy it. You don't want to anger a Wookiee. It's set number 75277 and it's 625 pieces of Lego Boba Fett goodness. So I'm going to put this thing together and uh, allow Chewbacca a chance to uh, take his nap. The box itself, though, is pretty darn cool. Um... They had a TIE Fighter pilot, and they have a Stormtrooper one as well. It looks cool. It's got a stand and everything. So uh, I'm going to build this, and when I'm done, we will uh, well, we'll circle back and see what it looks like. Now we got five bags of Legos here. Uh, obviously, no minifigures. The whole build is just this helmet. I just finished the first bag, and I have to say, this um, looks like some crazy house that a kindergarten child would build and not the makings of the coolest bounty hunter in the Star Wars galaxy. Okay, so I have finished the entire build. It now looks more like Boba Fett and less like a child's uh, plaything. Very detailed, uh, lots of color. The interior, I was like, there's blues, there's pinks, there's reds, um, but it came out pretty nicely. 
You've got his little targeting antenna here that is moving. And then if you want to make him look all like, I'm going to shoot you, that's cool. And here's a closer look at that Lego Boba Fett helmet set. Uh, like I showed you, the targeting system here goes up and down. He's got all the colors of Boba Fett. He's got the details. If you ever need a lot of mint green Legos, this would be the set to buy. Yeah, Boba Fett didn't really have a whole lot of time in Empire Strikes Back and even less in Return of the Jedi before he got eaten. Down here you've got this adjustable uh, Boba Fett nameplate. It's kind of cool because it's not a sticker. It's actually printed on the Lego piece itself. There you go. The Han Solo pin and the Boba Fett Lego helmet set. Did you have fun? What did you think about Han Solo? That's all the time we have. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Grumpy Gamer Dad. Until next time, this is Grumpy Gamer Dad saying stick around for more Disney pins uh, and stick more around for more Legos. And then we'll do some bad dad jokes with Chewie here after the end. All right, so that's the end of the Lego and Funko pin video. Well, there'll be more. Yeah, we have more videos to come and you'll be in them. So let's do some bad dad jokes. Quit interrupting me. Why was the painting arrested for robbing the bank? He was framed. What's easy to get into but hard to get out of? The cockpit of the Falcon? No, that's not right. Trouble. Nothing. All right, I need your help for this one. You get up for it? Knock, knock. Dishes. Dishes the police. Come out with your hands up. There you go. That's right. Have a good one.